Today I'll be taking a D1 recruiting visit at one of the top athletic programs in the country, the University of Miami. You know I'm ballin', usual like Kobe. Ooh, worry about a hater that don't know me. He say that he tough, then that boy gotta show me. Pull up in the truck, extra balls, and we fold deep. Alright, I know you guys love the media day stuff, so we're here in their media room. Got the jerseys back there. Real quick, should we do the jump transition for the jersey? Ready? One, two, three. And we are here. Fit it up in the uniform. We got the hat. I'm gonna wait because I don't want to ruin the curls. And we got Sebastian. I'm Sebastian. Actually, this isn't Sebastian. This is a different. Who, who, what's his name? Miami, Miami Heat guy. What is it? Miami what? Miami Mania. The Miami Give me an Mania. Egg. Give this me an eye. Should be not allowed for Leo to put this on. It's and then smoking. Tony's got the full basketball fit. <gasps> get ready for that. We're gonna get flicked up real quick with our man Josh right here. He's gonna take us through what a recruit would go through for like a recruiting photo shoot on their official visit. So this is our photo studio. We have four different backdrops. Three right here, white, orange, and green. And we've got our logo backdrop here. We'll run through some pretty basic poses. And then as you saw when you walked in, we had a giant rack of props. So what kind of the world is your oyster? Okay. You kind of run the show. It's That's how we treat it with our prospective student athletes. So obviously it goes from, hey, there's certain things you're gonna need for graphics and things like that. After that, it's like, hey, you tell me what you want. Each kid's kind of different, you go from there. Awesome. I grew up a Miami fan. This, so this is like a big deal for me. So I'm excited. <laughs> ah! Sorry, I'm fired up. Yeah, I can tell. It's all about the youth. It's all about the youth. It's all about the youth. You say it. So this is our newest backdrop that we just started using Love it. probably about four months ago. This one's awesome. So it shows off obviously yeah. a bunch of different logos yeah, yeah. that are just repeated on. And for our media days, what we'll do with our student athletes is we'll have it set up as a box okay. the entire way cool. and they kind of walk down and we'll roll down turf and things like that. This one's supposed to look really crispy. I'll put some pictures on the screen. This one's going to look sick. Beep, beep, boop, 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 beep, pop. One more. Beep. Let me know the flag. So in this video, we'll get the ideal official visit for a D1 recruit at the University of Miami, which means a baseball facility tour, courtside access to a massive rivalry game on campus, and a bonus tour of a different sports brand new facility that The Rock himself donated $1 million towards just last year. But before that, we met up with a familiar face on campus that you guys actually might remember. So I think we got about 30 something days. Yeah, very soon. Getting there. That's we're getting there. Dude, we're so happy. Yeah. Yeah. This guy right here is JD Urso. He gave us a tour of U Tampa facilities last year and as you can see he transferred up to one of the top programs in the country and will be playing shortstop for the Hurricanes this season. And the cool part too, my dad back in the day when he played at the University of Tampa, the D2 and D1 schools actually played against each other and he actually hit a home run here. One of his only home runs in college was at the University of Miami. So it's kind of like a little meant to be thing. I love that bro. I love that. I thought you guys would find that really cool too so shout out JD. And without further ado let's tour Miami's top notch baseball facilities. I think you guys are going to be blown away. What's up y'all, it's Blake Sear, AKA Hollywood, and we're here at the University of Miami. Playing for Miami actually means a lot for me. I'm originally a Florida boy, I'm from Orlando. Growing up, I've always wanted to do college in Florida, and especially after my first year as a freshman, like being in this atmosphere. You come to Miami and it's like a whole different atmosphere. Everyone here bleeds orange and green, and like I got a taste of that in my first series against Penn State, and honestly, it's like, it was such a surreal moment, and like, I'll never forget something like that, and I'm so excited to get into this year just because of what last year brought me. So we did a Miami tour this time last year, yep. but there's been some some upgrades since then, so we had to come back. You got to come back. Plus, it did so well. People exactly. Want to see part two. So come on, let's we're do back it. here because you guys said so. So let's check it out. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go to the weight room first. This is actually my favorite part of our whole, all of our facilities. I mean, it is brand new. You got all the, the decals. We pride ourselves on the national championships. Like we got this track, you got the hash marks, you got the different logos here. And then I'm gonna show you guys really my favorite part when I'm working out. Let me show you guys. I'm oh, always doing this. That's crazy. And then usually we have a remote right here, but it always is changing Jeez, colors. colors. Yeah. That's insane. Do you ever lift? That's Usually crazy. he doesn't let us, but like sometimes he will let us turn the lights off and do this. This is sick. Oh yeah, it's definitely the best part. And then, you know, you got the dumbbells. I usually stick around like the 10s and the 15s <laughs> for all my sets and yeah. stuff. How we do it is like we partner up with like three different guys. It's like when you're in this like environment and like you're with everyone, like kind of makes you want to work harder. You know what I mean? You get these lights turned off, you get the LEDs, you get the music going, especially when I'm on Ox. Oh, it's over. <laughs> What's it's over. the go-to? What's when the go-to song? Recently, Texas Big X the plug. Oh my okay. gosh. We get okay. that in here going. Oh, I love that song. So we also have these produce machines. Um, we got three of them. We're also the only program in the country that has three of these machines. They're actually pretty rare 
to uh, to a lot of facilities, so it's that's really nice to have. Yeah, yeah. You guys have everything you need and more. Plus, it's like it's a comfortable space. It's, like, it's not too big, but it's not yeah. too small. Exactly, it's perfect, it's perfect for baseball. Not really, is it's perfect. I mean, what we got a 32 man roster. Yeah, so it's perfect. Yeah, I love that's it. The, I love how baseball has its own logo too, like its own M. Exactly, like it really. You walk around and we got the U. You know, everyone knows what the U is. But then when you wear that M, it's like okay, that's that's for the baseball team. No, the field is the field's in like prime condition right now. So nice. These seats are sick, right on the yeah. field right there. They they are nice for the fans, but let me tell you, every, for every fan that sits right here, I hear everything you say. <laughs> really? Everything you say if you're sitting here, I'm hearing it. So here we got our visitors dug out. Yes, sir. You know, you know, we don't gotta. Yeah, we don't gotta look over there. That dug out. Like we just got on it two, two, three days ago. We just started again. Like one of our ground crew guys sleeps here sometimes. That's awesome. That's how dedicated we are here. That's how dedicated I we are. I love it. Like the palm trees in the back. You got like the parking garage, the football uh, facilities over there, and then I mean that scoreboard is insane. Nuts. It's the huge. scoreboard is insane. We just put that clock there because oh, cool. now you guys, now we have the the pitch clock, and then coach's office, the Ron Fraser that's building. That is okay. I mean that's historic. That building right there. Also, what historic is the stands for 6 a.m. running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for 6 a.m. running. That's what these stands are historic infamous, for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, a new rule for this year. Every um, every fence has to have padding on it. Oh, interesting. I yeah. didn't know that. Gabby Gutierrez literally going for a fly ball head first into that bullpen over there. No way. Yeah. Flew over the wall. That's. I guess, yeah, it's low. It's yeah. Flew over the wall. Where's your spot in the dugout? My spot is actually right here. I'm like into the game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm really into it the whole game. That's my spot right there, Fun. right on the rail. The closest that I can be is right there, right here. My spot. I'm just sitting here like this, just chirping the whole time. And you said you committed in eighth grade? Yeah, Miami. like summer of eighth grade. I went to one perfect game tournament. It was like the national tournament in uh, in Lake Point. And uh, my first game we played and then we made it to like the final four. Miami was calling after that tournament. You know, like I said, I'm a Florida boy. I wanted to stay in Florida. So it was a huge consideration. Decided to come down here for that camp. And after that, committed a week after that camp. It's, like, it's cool to see you committed for so long and then stuck around and are actually on campus. Cause a lot of times you never exactly, know. Exactly, exactly. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, all throughout high school, I was Miami, Miami, Miami through and through. Eighth grade. Let's I'm go. walking in the class with my Miami stuff on. Okay, now, yeah, now you know. we're here. That's exactly, now we're here. Got this main entrance right here. All right, so this is the mud room. This is like where uh, we walk in to get all, all of our stuff. These are our fall helmets we just caught with Marucci. This is my helmet. So helmet, batting gloves are in there. We got all of our bats. Here's the trainers. I actually love the shout outs from Marucci. Right. My wood bat right here. That's so dope. That was probably a bomb. <laughs> and then where all the magic happens. We got four cages in here. We got the main cage that we run, our machines on, we do a lot of curveballs. Like what I like to start doing is like, I come in here, this is open to us at all times, right? So like I'm coming in here and it's probably eight o'clock at nine o'clock at night. And in this middle cage, there's a self ball feeder. Oh, cool. So I set it up down there and like- It's on I'm, timer, so- yep, like, yeah. I'm in here and all I'm doing is just hitting. I'm all alone by myself gotcha. and like, I love that. And you know, you got the speakers in here. I get those cranked up. The details that we got in here, of course, when I mean, we had the national championships up there. And then also I come in here a lot. Actually one of my favorites as a hitter. So yeah, this room as a hitter, right here we can log on and watch all of our at-bats on this TV right here. Throughout the whole year, any at-bat. I can even watch at-bats from high school. Really? From, yeah, I'm, I'm a big film guy, yeah, big yeah. film guy. I'm like, I like to critique myself. Like, hey, what am I doing? Like, you know, so I'm after I'm in here, then I go start hitting. All right, let me go work on this after I came in here and saw what I needed to work on. That's sweet. And so, right in the same room. Same That's building, yeah. same building. Now we're ready to go. Love that. I know what I need to work on. Can hop on the bike if I want to warm up for oh, a little yeah. bit. Cool. <laughs> no, I've never done that. Why not? <laughs> and after our baseball tour, it was time to check out another sports facility. And you may have guessed it, it's Miami Basketball's brand new multi-million dollar training center. So don't forget to stick to the end of the video for an exclusive Miami baseball gear giveaway. And now let's see how their baseball facilities compare to their also elite basketball programs. Hi, my name is Dunsley Joseph. I'm a poor guard from the University of Miami. I'm a junior and welcome to the U. We are in our new WIS weight room that we built this summer. It's really beautiful. We got lots of nice stuff, new areas. This is where I be, you know, my section. Right here. Yeah, the strong man. All <laughs> it. We usually come in these, and you know, they got all different types of stretches. 
Oh, you could do a just that baseball. Fast. They have one that's a baseball. Yeah, they got yeah. Basketball no, too. we it's have funny. So let's get to the practice facility. Yes, sure. We have two sides. So this is the women's side. Some days when the Watts go, the main gym is occupied. We just use. You know, the practice facility. We also have a saying we live by as a team, as a program, attitude, commitment, class, ACC. So it's kind of the theme we kind of live by and you know, how we want to approach, you know, our games and our system. You know, it's all about the youth. Mm -hmm. Final Four run, Coach L being the GOAT he is. Yeah. Legends been around here, Barack Obama. That's crazy. For the support of the U, you know, it's at an all-time high. This is our relaxation room. Ooh. Real quick, if you want to step in here. Midday or, you know, practices, guys can get on the recovery boots. Want to take a nap and have a long day of classes and stuff. People come in here, take a little break. That's you know, sweet. we got the TVs in here. The hot tub. Oh, okay. Hot tub. Uh, we got our hot tub over here and our cold tub right next to it. Got you. You go on that? I do go on that. I go on hot tub a lot. So this is just like a 360 kind of. This is our nutrition room. Um, snacks, you know, to go meals, prepare some, many food. This is our men's side. The women's share the other side. So a bunch of waters and we got all our breads. So this is where, you know, we kind of get fed, take care of ourselves. And I love how it's a 360 service. Yeah, it is. So it's, you know, you need. could go through everything right before you lift, get a nice little snack in. Yeah. So yeah, let's get to the walk now. Gotta use cards every time we enter different facilities. Gotcha. Usually, you know, on game days, they'll have lots of security and gotcha. people kind of walking around here, but right here. this is our tunnel, um, you know, where we meet up kind of before games, huddle up. Welcome to the Watt, where amazing things happen for the hurricane. This is just a great environment. How many does it see? About like 8,000. Okay, word, yeah. 8,000. 8, you know, we got our Final Four banner up there oh, from last year's remarkable run. Yes, sir. Trying to get another one. You know, just so glad and blessed to be here, you know, just trying to keep continuing to make history. It's worked out pretty well so far. Yeah. First two For years, sure. yes, success, sir. So. yes, sir. Well, let's go. What's your huh? best play that you remember from your career so far that we could put up a clip and hype you up a little bit? Last year, I caught a body. Oh, for real? Against who? Uh, F FAMU. FAMU, yeah. I got a steal. I just ran and I heard one of my teammates like, dunk that, and just threw it on Let's him. Let's go, and we like, that clip. It's, it's, the funny part is about that clip, like I was so hyped and like that I made it, that they called a foul, but I didn't even hear the whistle. Oh, so really? I'm over here like going back on defense, like free throw, free throw. So That's that was crazy. probably my favorite memory. Uh, and we were talking about it a little bit off camera, but want to take us through just the emotions of making it to the final four last year and like what it meant to you? Uh, I mean, it was everything, you know, Shot out to my team last year, you know, the guys that, you know, we made it happen. I mean, it just took a lot of blood, sweat and tears all year, lots of ups and downs. Everything really was just such a surreal feeling. And, you know, I just loved enjoying and spending time with my teammates, for yeah, sure. It was fun to watch too. Yeah, yeah. no, appreciate it. Thank you. You gotta get a bucket, man. I know, right? I gotta get one. Can I shoot one? Get a... Come at one -on -one. Yeah, you a lefty too? Oh, oh yeah. Ah! I'm a lefty too. You are? Oh, yeah, word, love yeah, that. Did lefties. you ever play baseball growing up? I did. Yeah? I did play baseball. I was a first baseman. Yep. And a center field because I'm a lefty. I wasn't really good at it. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. Right. But it was real fun. It was fun to play. There it is. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Ah. What's the go-to after you make my a three? Sully, I usually love the bow and arrow ah, or yeah. like my teammates like to do ice. the, the ice. LeBron ice for sure. Love that. Thank you so much. Oh, no, I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Thank yeah. you. Yes, sir. Appreciate Thank you, you for having me. I'll yeah, see y'all tomorrow, you, right? man. Yes, sir. And speaking of tomorrow, the next night we finished up the recruiting visit by going back to Watsco Center for exclusive access to Miami's big time basketball game. Recruiting visit, you gotta end with some exclusive access to a basketball game. We got a rivalry game versus FSU, Miami's biggest rival, obviously, so this is gonna be massive. Right in the middle of the student section, so we'll give you guys the exclusive look on what it's like to attend a rivalry game at Miami. Perfect way to end the recruiting visit, I'm super excited for it. It's gonna be electric, so let's get right into it. Look, just for this
To win this exclusive Miami jersey, just comment your Instagram down below and subscribe if you're new. Really appreciate you guys watching and thank you Miami for having us out. And I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Peace.